All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. for this, our main event of the evening. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> There's Herb Dean, who will handle the action inside the octagon. Here we go. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. High velocity elbow is blocked. Both of them landed there. Rips the body there. Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. John, with every shot, these guys are trying to end the fight. What a start. Beautiful counterpunch, really settling in when it comes to his counterattack here tonight. Oh. Looking to land the leg kick now. Nice job blocking that shot. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, huge connection on the flying knee, DC. Now we'll see if the longer, taller fighter can move in and follow it up. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Yep, that guillotine's deep. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. I mean, these guys are letting it fly. What a pace that they're fighting now. Low kick is there. Just out of range with that right hand. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter in this instance. It makes sure you oh. oh, this could be it. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. Huge elbow lands for this guy. Postures up and goes with all of his body. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Oh. Nasty cut on his leg. All right, so an opportunity. 
soon as he goes by the boards, he had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has won. And both guys really throwing with authority. Lands a huge fly knee. Oh, there he goes. And now that jab starting to get established. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Oh, just opening up on him now. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. Just over two minutes to go in the round. He's hurt, he's hurt. Big knee to the body. Beautiful fight, he lands to the head. Man! So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. And there's a takedown attempt. Continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the red. Well, he just missed on another strike there. He has not been efficient with his attack here tonight, and offensively, I think his approach leaving a lot to be desired. Gotta figure out a way. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Back to the feet now. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. I mean, you land one, I land one. What a start. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Oh, my goodness. his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that match. They both took some damage, but they both Gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see who goes to the now. And he is back up to his feet. All right, well, that blow is bosseting from that cut with each strike landing. He continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy who's. Beautiful job staying at range and dictating the fight, landing punches like that. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of... Another knockdown! Oh, big ground strike. 
strikes continue to land. Herb Dean steps in. Oh. What a fight. Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. Here once more, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Big Daddy. Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you gotta think this dude's gonna get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TKO. Oh, he's gonna get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down